Hey, welcome to Dosing 101 with Apothecary. My name is Taylor. So I wanted to start off by introducing myself. So my name is Taylor again. I am a clinical herbalist uh, here at Apothecary, and I'm also a registered herbalist with the American Herbalist Guild. Um, I'm also pursuing a master's in clinical nutrition and functional nutrition practices. Um, I'm really just truly passionate about bridging our medicine and our spice cabinets together and really utilizing plants as functional foods um, and really there to support our health in so many ways. So I'm so glad you guys are joining us today to learn a little bit more about herbs. Um, so I'm so excited to be here and I can't wait to hear your questions that you guys have. Um, again, as your questions come up, feel free to pop them in the chat box on the side there. Um, I wanted to introduce our moderator, Michaela. She'll be in that chat box. She'll be helping me out and um, answering your questions as we go. And then also any questions that, um, you know, that we're going to answer in there as well, um, I'll get to. And then any questions that we did not get to during our class today, feel free to email those to hi at apothecary.co and we'll get those answered for you as soon as possible. But we'll try and answer most of them towards the end of class. So I did want to just go over the structure of today's class. Um, so first I'm gonna do a little demo featuring two of our single mono herb uh, powders. So we also offer single herb powders as well as our powder blends. So I wanna show you guys just how easy it is to incorporate some of our singles into some of your favorite recipes. So we're gonna start out with that. Um, and then I'm gonna open it up to some uh, frequently asked questions, discuss some of those about dosing, about utilizing multiple herbs in our daily routines. Um, and then I'll open it up to your questions. Again, feel free to pop them in the chat box as we move along. Um, and we'll scroll up and get to those as we can. Um, so unfortunately, also during this class, I won't be able to answer any medical questions uh, specifically containing to any medication or your medical health concerns. I would though urge you to book a consultation with myself. I offer a one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, where we can go over kind of your diet, uh, some of the supplements that you're taking and really help to utilize herbs um, in a sustainable way into your daily routine by incorporating them into your favorite recipes um, and really understanding um, and optimizing your daily life. So I'd love to work with you. So again, uh, Michaela will pop a link in there to how to book a consult with me. If you're interested in that, we can talk about your health journey. So also at the end, we'll offer a discount code. Just thank you guys for showing up today. We really appreciate it. Um, so please grab a pen and paper at any point just to write that down because again this recording will not be going out. So you'll want to have a pen and paper handy. Um, and there we go and that's going to be today's workshop. So let's get started. So today's demo I'm going to be making a loaded guacamole. So not only is this, is this guacamole packed with nutrient dense ingredients like healthy fats from avocados and the antioxidants from fresh tomatoes and peppers, um, but there's also tons of functional polyphenols or plant compounds helping to make this guacamole way more than an ordinary dip. So what herbs am I gonna use in this guacamole? So today I'm gonna to be using our chlorella powder. So this is our single mono herb chlorella. Um, so chlorella is actually a green freshwater algae. It's native to Taiwan and Japan. It's rich in phytonutrients. Um, and there's a lot of research to support uh, utilizing chlorella for overall health benefits. Some of the phytonutrients of chlorella include chlorophyll, beta, beta carotene, tons of potassium that is one of the things that chlorella boasts a lot of um, in particular as well as biotin magnesium and b vitamins it's also an exceptionally rich source of amino acids and it considered an excellent option as a plant-based protein uh, so for those looking for plant-based proteins this is also another little addition you can add on to your daily diet um, chlorella is a natural detoxifier, especially good for cleaning out heavy metals out of the body uh, by supporting our detoxification pathways. So we have lots of different types of detoxification pathways, but specifically our liver and our lymph system 
Corella is really going to support those. Also specifically in studies, it was found that long-term supplementation uh, with, uh, in those that had dental fillings, so people that get uh, fillings for cavities or any type of dental reconstruction, things like that, were often introduced to different types of toxins during those procedures, especially in the fillings that continue to live in our mouths. So in this study in particular, especially those metal ones, those metal fillings, those that utilize chlorella really benefited after 90 days of consecutive use, helping to remove those heavy metals that leach from those fillings into the body. So this is just another um, a substantial um, example of how chlorella is just a really great detoxifier and really can support our liver, especially in getting those heavy metals out of the body. Um, so research has also found that chlorella has some cardioprotective effects. So cardioprotective, meaning it loves our heart, it's going to protect our heart in many different ways, but specifically pertaining to our cholesterol levels. So chlorella was found in a study over a four week period uh, that really further highlighted the importance of taking your herbs consistently to receive the full therapeutic benefits, right? So these studies were done over four week time and over 90 day time. So really utilizing your single herbs consistently over time is when you're gonna get those full range of benefits. So the other herb I'm gonna be using in our loaded guacamole today is our Sisandra berry powder. So this fruit berry powder is one of my favorites. It's also known as the berry of five spices because it really has a unique kind of tangy, citrus, earthy, beautiful, sweet kind of just such a complex flavor. I love to add it to things. Anything that I'm gonna be adding citrus to, I find works really well with Sisandra. Um, so that's one of my favorites, excuse me. Sisandra is also uh, known uh, to grow in an aromatic tree out of China and as well as Russia. It's also known as Wu Wei Zi in uh, Chinese medicine, which actually means the fruit of five tastes. So um, it's also described in Chinese traditional medicine as having qi invigorating properties. So that, make, that means it really helps us to restore the feelings of vitality and energy throughout our entire body. So as an adaptogenic herb, this is really going to help us be more resilient to stress and also boast these other beautiful benefits that are nutritive like antioxidants um, and vitamins as well. So in traditional Russian medicine, um, it was actually described as a tonic for reducing hunger, fatigue, delaying the aging process, increasing vitality, and improving mental health. So just as it parallels traditional Chinese medicine, the traditional uses uh, in Russian medicine were the same for vitality, for restoring the body. Um, so modern research shows that it may be beneficial for liver health. Um, so again, our liver, a big detoxification organ, uh, is really important for removing toxins from the body. Um, and it's also protective against liver damage by activating liver enzymes to produce a very powerful antioxidant called glutathione. So glutathione, this antioxidant in particular is also known as a super antioxidant, antioxidant uh, because it really helps to repair our cells and aids in quicker recovery, especially from sickness and stress. And remember, stress can come in so many forms, emotional, mental, physical, even working out is actually stressful on the body. So just keeping that in mind by taking your herbs consistently, you're really helping your body to be nourished so it can respond to that stress in an appropriate way. Um, and the flavor of uh, Sushandra berry, as I mentioned before, sweet, tangy, slightly astringent, and it really pairs well with mocktails, homemade popsicles. I like also adding it to my homemade applesauce, just an easy way to incorporate uh, some more beneficial adaptogens into my everyday diet. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to tilt this down here so you guys can see my recipe as I am building it. Here we go. So we're going to make some loaded guacamole. So first off, of course, I am going to start off with some avocados. All I did was take them out of the shell and I'm just going to put them right in or out of their skin. I'm sorry. And put them right into a bowl here. 
I'm going to speed up slightly already, but you can leave this as chunky as you like. I personally like it pretty chunky. I like that texture. And you'll see why I call it loaded guacamole because I've got a lot going in here. So first up, I have some red pepper and jalapeno pepper. I will say this recipe is for uh, those that like a bit of pungency. I do have a bit of garlic and you know, um, pepper in here. So I really love these flavors together. So I hope you do too. And then I am also going to be adding some diced tomato, some garlic, as I mentioned before, three cloves because of that antimicrobial uh, activity. It helps antiviral as well. So good for the immune system. Also some onions here. They have great quercetin in there too. So that is also really good for our heart health and our immune system. And then cilantro, one of my favorite herbs. So we're gonna pour all of this right into here. And we are simply going to give this a little stir just to start to get this incorporated. And then next we are going to add our herbs. So as you can see, this is a beautiful mix here. It is really loaded up with lots of vegetables. And now for our herbs. So we are gonna add two teaspoons each of our herb powders today. So first, the Shashandra powder. I'm also gonna be using my gold spoon. So just to remind you guys, our gold spoon, whether you have the small spoon or the large spoon, the head here is gonna be the same size and it's gonna be about a half a teaspoon per heaping scoop. So I'm gonna be doing four scoops from each of my powders here to equal two teaspoons of each powder. So let's do this here. See, this is my heaping spoonful. I wanna give you a good shot of that. So you wanna make sure you're getting all of your herby goodness in there. So one, two, three, and four. Perfect. And now for the chlorella. So this is really just boosting up the antioxidant profile of our guacamole here. We're gonna go for four again, three, Four. And of course, the chlorella powder is just going to make this even more vibrant and bright. And then also going to squeeze in some lime. One whole lime just squeezed in here. I cut mine up into four chunks just to make it a little easier. Oop, <laughs> slipped right out of my hand. And right in. There we go. And you can always add more lime if you like too. Some salt and pepper to taste. I love fresh ground pepper. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there. And then a couple shakes of some fresh sea salt. And then next up, we are literally just going to mix this up and it is that simple. And you are gonna have some beautiful guacamole. So let me mix this up and show you how vibrant green this gets. And this is a great treat to have on hand during the week, get your healthy fats in. It's very family friendly. If you tone down maybe the jalapeno a little bit, um, but as far as getting those nutrients in, it really is just a great option for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And look at that. It is chunky. It is delicious. Serve it with chips. Serve it with quesadillas, eggs on toast. And it's that simple. And I just wanted to point out how easy it really is to incorporate single herbs into your favorite recipes. That simple, you can just add them right in if they're gonna be supportive for you on your health journey. And I know we can all be using a little bit more antioxidant support, especially coming from chlorella and shishandra berry. So that is our demo. I hope you guys enjoyed that little recipe. Awesome. Now we're going to open it up to some of your questions too. A copy of the recipe will be coming out afterward. So we'll definitely um, have you guys check in on that. We have more recipes also on our blog. And I think Michaela can pop a link in there straight to our blog if you guys want some more inspiration for some other foods um, that you can add these herbs to. So specifically, I really like to add chlorella to things that are going to be more of um, more of like a smoothie, more of like a green treat, um, things that have 
um, kind of that nutrient profile. You can add it to oatmeal as well. You know, it's going to give it a beautiful, funky color, but I love it. It really doesn't change the flavor at all. It's really just an aesthetic thing. So I really just, you know, I invite you to just explore your kitchen and your recipes and see where you can really start to incorporate herbs into your favorite um, into your favorite recipes that you already have, because that's really going to be the best way to start to take them consistently over time. So let's see, are you able to taste the powders very much or do they blend into what you're cooking? Again, they blend in pretty well into what you're cooking. There are some powders that of course are going to have a little bit more of a stronger flavor than others, like our turmeric uh, in the follow your gut powder. That one's going to, that blend will taste more like turmeric because it is primarily turmeric, but you're also getting the astragalus in there as well as a bit of the black pepper just to activate those curcuminoids and to make sure that everything um, is bioavailable. Um, but by all means, again, think about this as an extension of your spice cabinet. Spices are aromatic and do have flavors. Um, our mushroom powders are specifically good in soups and stews. Um, just as in Ch Chinese traditional medicine, they would make a lot of medicinal broths um, and teas. So I definitely um, invite you to start to explore different uh, soup recipes and curry recipes, especially using our mushroom powders. Um, what are the expiration dates on products that are seen on the bottles? So uh, can the new take the edge off the use in hot water? Yes, the new take the edge off can be used in hot water. Um, and for your question about the expiration dates, I'll have Michaela po post that answer in the box there for you. Um, but as far as taking take the edge off, this can be used in hot water. It can be used in cold water. It does have a fruitier flavor. So you can think about it as a kind of more fresh, vibrant, um, uplift, uh, like, fresh, just more fresh flavor, but it's still going to have that relaxing uh, properties. Um, all right, so let's see some more questions here. Let me scroll back up. Um, all right, so any questions you guys have, feel free to pop them in there. Uh, does Take the Edge Off have the similar effect as CBD oil? So just like CBD, CBD is, comes from the hemp plant. So every plant that we're talking about that's in our blends or even hemp, you know, they contain polyphenols. And each of those polyphenols have different therapeutic effects. So there is definitely um, an overlap as far as being relaxing, um, but they do not do the same thing and they will not interact with each other. Um, they affect different parts of the body, whereas CBD oil affects the endocannabinoid system um, because none of our products contain any hemp or cannabis. Our products would not be affecting that system, so it will just be metabolized differently. Um, but as far as the general effects um, of our you know, more relaxing blends, like Do Not Disturb is a great relaxing blend that I would definitely equate to more of a CBD oil, also being that it's earthy flavor uh, versus some of our other ones like Chilla F Out has more of a chocolate peppermint flavor, but again, they're going to be relaxing, just working on a different system of the body. All right. Which of your blends are better for as needed versus using every day for full efficiency? I like chill the F out and stop your whiting. Stop your whiting. Didn't notice much with uh, do not disturb. Great question. So for blends that are more as needed. So I really like to have float your bloat on hand. So the float your bloat blend um, actually has some prebiotic fibers in there, some marshmallow, uh, things that are gonna be very soothing to the gut and to help soothe uh, bloating as well as constipation and really just help with that process. So that's a really good one that I'd like to have on as needed, um, as well as the aloe uh, juice that comes with it. We have that on our website as well available. The aloe would be a really good um, accompaniment to that blend to have on hand for relief. Another one that would be great to have on hand is the trifola. So trifola powder is actually, we have it under our single powders, 
but is actually three berry blend um, formulated in Ayurvedic medicine. It's actually one of the most renowned, oldest formulations used in Ayurvedic medicine, and it's used for digestive relief. So if you're someone that, again, moves with um, reflux, GER, those types of uh, symptoms that you get uh, when you lay down after you eat, you feel things repeating on you, you get bloaty, you get gassy. Again, it can help with constipation as well as diarrhea. So this one is very good to have on hand for someone that just has, um, in general, either yourself, you're moving with a, a, an array of gastrointestinal issues or you know, you're supporting a couple people at a time, that's a very good versatile herb to have on hand. With the triphala powder, you are going to want to take that as a tea singularly by itself in hot water with a little ginger and lemon uh, before you eat a meal or after a meal that was heavy or just not sitting right. So that's how you would use that one as, as needed. Um, for everyday full efficiency, again, most of our adaptogenic blends um, and anything that really contains uh, functional mushrooms, um, you know, it's really, there is an argument to take all of these herbs consistently every day if you really want to see the full benefits. But again, those two specifically that I said before, the triphala and the float your bloat, would definitely be ones I would say more as like the as needed, having your herbal pharmacy uh, and your first aid kit, so to speak. Um, but chill the F out, stop your whining, both are adaptogenic blends. So the more you take them consistently, the better you are start going to start to feel and the more relaxed you'll be able to feel and, uh, be able to get to sleep more quickly and sleep more efficiently. So using them consistently. Did I hear you say cloves? Oh, cloves of garlic. I think that's what you were referring to in that question. Cloves of garlic in the recipe. Um, which blend would be best for helping with sleep? So again, as I mentioned, we do have a couple options for sleep. If you are more of the, I like an herbal tea before bed type of person, the do not disturb would be a great option for you that has the Tulsi in there, which is known as holy basil. That again is an adaptogenic herb. So that's really going to help us regulate our HPA axis and be more resilient to stress and really help regulate our bodies. Um, ashwagandha single powder. Uh, the ashwagandha powder is a great option also to take at night. You can make it into a golden latte uh, with uh, the ashwagandha powder. You can add the float your, um, sorry, the follow your gut, which is the turmeric and make a turmeric golden milk latte at night. That would be a great option for you. Um, I did want to remind you, though, ashwagandha isn't necessarily a sleepy time herb. It's more of an herb that you use consistently over time to help our bodies, again, be able to relax more efficiently. So a lot of people think that like, oh, I take my ashwagandha, I'm supposed to go to sleep. That's really not the case with ashwagandha. It's really there to help build up resilience to stress and really help us get relaxed quicker and more efficiently when we do need to be relaxed. Um, so those would be a good options. Also, of course, the stop your whining with the jujube date in there. And it has some other really antioxidant rich berries as well as the Sushandra berry. So, you know, by choosing to try and stop your whining over a glass of red wine, you're actually being protective to your liver with the Sushandra berry uh, versus the alcohol, which can actually be inflammatory. So it really is a great option for sleeping. Um, just, you know, being able to support that detoxification process. And I would suggest two glasses of the Stop Your Whining to really start to feel that relaxation effect. Um, and of course, our Take the Edge Off Tincture, which I'll talk about a bit more as we go along here. Um, but that would be a great option for you, especially to have by your bedside table, because you can take that throughout the night as needed. So that is a great option as well. So how many herbs can you combine at once or take in a day? That is a great question. So we like to tell everyone, start low and slow. You know, if you're new to herbs, your body's new to herbs, start out with one, two blends a day, even, you know, a couple singles a day, even. I love to get people to really, you know, open a relationship up to our single herbs. They can really start to find out if that specific herb is working well for them or they can use the blends, which are already curated and formulated to support specific things, um, or just in general, of course, our adaptogenic herbs are gonna be supporting our stress response in general. 
Um, so combining them, I would start out with, you know, one herb at a sitting, whether it's an herb or one blend at a sitting to start, and then you can work up from there. But of course, if you're having any questions on how to support your specific health needs, you can always book a consultation with myself and we could talk about a routine for you and how to integrate your herbs into your daily routine, especially for those that want to just jump right in and get the full pharmacy set and really learn how to utilize every herb that we have really to offer um, in the best way possible. So let's see, I'll answer a couple more questions here. So do you recommend to store them in a cool, dry place, aka not on the kitchen bathroom like pills? Yes, I do, definitely, especially once they're open, you know, cool, dry place, like a spice cabinet, that way you're always remembering to take them, or by your coffee or your morning drink station, that's always a great place as well to store them. But somewhere dry and dark is always best. So what's a great combo to substitute for wine? So the stop your whining um, is obviously a great base to start with. You can add in a little bit of tart cherry juice, about three ounces. You can add an ounce or two of some coconut water to that. Um, some, some ice cubes on top if you like it cold. Make it more like a rosé situation. You can add the take the edge off in there too if you want to sweeten it up. We also have our not so boozy blend book. So I definitely highly suggest checking that out for some more mocktail inspiration. Um, I think Michaela popped a link in there for you guys. If you want to check that out? Um, let's see. Let's see. How long does it take to see the benefits after taking these blends consistently? So we like to stay around three weeks in the herbalism world. It's kind of like the rule of thumb, two to three weeks is really the sweet spot, but everyone's metabolism is different. So we like to err on the side of three weeks just to give it their fair shot. Um, again, herbs work differently for everyone. So I always explore, you know, I always invite you to explore the other options of herbs that might be out there if one herb doesn't seem to be supporting you in the way or the full therapeutic effect that you think you might need. Um, and, you know, working with a clinical herbalist like myself, I can really guide you there on which herbs to take consistently and which herbs really can be used more as like a spice blend um, or as like a finishing spice, which a lot of our herbs can be used like that as well. So let's see. Can I take the you do you and glow getter with food, like with applesauce or oatmeal, instead of using it with a beverage? Absolutely. I always tell my clients, mix them into foods that you love, that you know you're going to be eating every single day. If making smoothies and lattes and drinks isn't your jam, that's totally fine. Open up the spice cabinet, start sprinkling it into your applesauces, your oatmeals. You know, just this morning, I made a maca oatmeal and it was delicious. I added a little bit of molasses, brown sugar on top. It was so good. Um, but maca is another really good one to stir into your oatmeal in the morning. But yeah, you do you and Glow Getter specifically, I will say, do have more of that citrusy undertone. So just to keep that in mind, if you want to put blueberries on your oatmeal and sprinkle that on top, perfect. I think that that would be a great combination. All right, let's answer a couple more. Is there caffeine in matcha in the sleigh all day? Yes, there is caffeine in sleigh all day. If you're someone that's looking for a caffeine-free morning boost, I would suggest the Blue Me Away blend. That one is going to be a very similar formulation, um, but it's not going to have caffeine in it. So I would definitely, instead of the sleigh all day, if you're looking for a non-caffeinated alternative, the Blue Me Away. Uh, the Mind Over Matter is another great one. That is our three mushroom blend. That one will be also great to use in the morning. Uh, another caffeine-free alternative for a little bit of an energy boost. All right. And I am going to answer one more, and then we are going to talk about our next uh, product here. Any IG to follows that may post recipes. Yes, so we are going to have more recipes on Instagram. That was what the question was about, where more recipes will be posted. We'll have more on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed to our email channel um, so you can be getting the latest news about how to get our recipes and all of our inside goodies. 
Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you'll definitely be in the know. All right. Thank you guys so much for your questions. I really appreciate it. And again, if I didn't get to your question, feel free to email hi at apothecary.co and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you, Michaela, put our IG account in the chat box there if you guys want to follow along with us to get the latest recipes and all of those fun products. So lastly, I really wanted to introduce one of our newest products, the Take the Edge Off Tincture. Have you guys seen this one yet? I hope you're as excited as I am. So this is our first tincture that we have available, many to come. In this tincture blend, it's really nervines for physical and mental tension for the body, for tense muscles, for restlessness, for anxiety. Think a racing heart, heart palpitations, circular thoughts. Generally, it's just going to be able to relax the mind and the body. So this is a really easy to have on hand, um, on the go. You know, you can make it. You could use it in. Uh, you could use it right as is, out of the bottle. You could use it into drinks, into mocktails. You can have it on your nightside table, as I mentioned before, to dose throughout the night if you're someone that wakes up throughout the night. That could also support your body in going back to sleep. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about some functional herbs that are in here. So of course, we have some passion flower, which is relaxing, gently sedative without being too sleepy. Um, so it's specifically indicated for those with anxiety, especially when you have those heart palpitations, um, insomnia, restlessness, muscle, nervous system tension, all of those things I was mentioning before. Passion flower is really the heavy hitter here, um, as well as skull cap. There's another herb in here that's traditionally been used to soothe spiraling thoughts. Think of a skull cap, really just putting that on our head to soothe those thoughts. So skull cap really helps our helps with those that have a mind that keeps us awake at night. Um, it supports insomnia. Again, of course, those restless body and mind symptoms that we have um, that keep us up. So skull cap is a great support there. Um, there's also some linden in here. So I don't know if you're familiar with linden, but I'm sure many of you have probably seen some linden trees around your neighborhood, but it's a very aromatic tree that traditionally and modernly has been used for headache relief. Um, so as you can guess, it's really great, especially for tension headaches. Um, again, for anxiety as well, it's, it's also a cardio tonic. So cardio, heart, tonic, meaning we can take it consistently. So it's really nourishing for our hearts um, and it really helps to optimize our heart function. And it's also used to support colds and flus uh, because it opens up our circulatory pathways. And then lastly, there's also oat straw in here. So the oat straw is what gives it kind of that earthy, you know, more grassy undertone flavor. Um, really rounds it out nicely and gives it an herbal undertone. Um, and that's really in here to help provide a full range of nutrition um, and different types of vitamins and minerals like silica to help repair connective tissues and bones, as well as iron and magnesium and zinc. So this is a really, really great um, herb to just know about in general, oat straw. It's just so nutritive. Um, and again, it's very supportive for nourishing our brains, um, making sure our brain function is working properly and helping combat those anxiety symptoms. So together, this blend is just super handy to have. If you are someone that moves with anything uh, that I just mentioned before, if you resonate with any of those symptoms of anxiety, of tension, muscle, physical tension, restless legs, those types of things, this could be super supportive. Um, I recommend starting with one to do one to two mils per day to start. Uh, that mill will be a full dropper dose. So I just want to show you here that is a full dropper all the way to the top. So you can either pop that right into your mouth or you can put it into some water. You can make some mocktails. And we have some recipes also on our IG account if you want to get some more inspiration. All right, so that is our Take the Edge Off Tincture. I hope you guys will check it out. It's actually um, on pre-order right now and we restock super soon. So please bear with us and be patient for us to actually get it to you. Um, but we're excited for you guys to try it and it just sold out so quickly. So I already know you guys love it. So I'm excited uh, for everyone else to try it out. 
All right. And um, lastly here, I wanted to just remind you guys about our new consultation offering. It's a 45 minute dietary analysis and herbal consultation with myself. Um, we're really gonna understand the root cause of your health concerns and how they often stem from understanding our daily food choices. So herbs, just like fruits and vegetables, serve really to nourish our bodies and help us to achieve our highest qualities of life. So in our consultation, you'll, you'll have the chance to explore you know, your personal diet, understand which foods, which herbs would be best supportive for your health journey, um, as well as different lifestyle and habits that we can talk through that might be most supportive um, for your health goals. So after the consultation, you'll also receive a food plan with guidance on what herbs to take, how to integrate them into your favorite recipes. You'll also receive uh, credit for one herb on your protocol that we talk about. So I definitely highly suggest if you're someone who's really interested in starting to integrate herbs into your daily life, let's book a consultation. Let's talk about your health goals. And I would love to show you the way with herbal medicine and how it could be so supportive in so many ways. So as a thank you guys for coming today, again, I wanted to give you a discount code. So I'm gonna give you guys a second here to grab a pen and pencil before I give you our discount code for the week. Thank you so much for coming to our Dosing 101 today. I hope you guys enjoyed our recipes. So I'm gonna give you a minute here. So our discount code for this week is going to be February 101, all capital letters. February 101. Awesome. So make sure you guys check out our Instagram, follow us, um, and join us for our next IG Live coming up in two weeks. Um, we'll be interviewing our in-house herbalists and R&D specialists all about take the edge off um, and all the nervines and nourishing goodness that that blend has to offer. Uh, we also have some Dosing 201 classes coming up, so stay uh, subscribed to our email to find out what the subject of those are going to be. Um, our next one coming up will be all about hormone health, and that one will be next week, so please sign up. It's free. Love to see you there and love to learn more with you um, and answer more of your questions. So thank you guys again so much for joining us. Um, again, this recording will not be sent out, so I just wanted to remind you, um, but thank you again so much for joining us. It was great to see you, and we'll see you guys again in the next dosing.